It was strange. In 2008, the Christmas time, I was sitting there. Okay, my father has helped me a lot, which I'm very grateful for. Um, he didn't have the opportunity to do it anymore, and I had no car, I had no team, no money, <laughs> no nothing. And uh, first Christmas day, everybody's normally with, with their family. I went straight to my co-driver at a place called Numendal in Norway. Um, so, uh, and we sat together and hey, we can't give up our dream. Uh, we feel that we we think we have what it takes and um, and uh, we can't give up now. And then we <laughs> sat down, tried to uh, get the 20,000 Norwegian kroners budget to do just one small rally in Norway. <laughs> Then we got uh, Eric on board. He has been really helpful. Um, we, uh, it's a lot of other people behind there as well. Uh, but uh, he got me into a rally car again uh, in Norway, starting to build up from, from scratch. And uh, now we're here in 2011 as RSC champions. What a season. Um, so many downs and so many ups. I mean, starting in, in Monte Carlo, I don't think it can even start more worse than it did. I mean, after three, 300 meters going off the road um, and then picking ourselves up again. We had a mistake on the first stage on the very beginning, so uh, uh, we couldn't uh, continue. So, but it's a real shame, real shame. I was uh, having a really t hard time with myself. I mean, I, I, I knew I, I had the talent to, to go really, really fast. And uh, okay, not to do mistakes was, was my problem. Um, but uh, doing a lot of uh, thinking and a lot of mental training with my trainer Roy and everyone around me mm, and get my head sorted uh, and also changed my approach going into the, to the rallies. Um, I've, uh, I've taken a huge step, I feel. So uh, this year, I've, for me, I've taken so many steps this year. Um, and I feel much more mature and, and uh, much more ready now to, to win rallies, not only stages. After Monte Carlo, they, they wouldn't stop believing. They still had uh, the belief in me to, that I could succeed. And I think we showed throughout the year that we definitely have the pace and we definitely have also the consistency now to, to perform well and win rallies and uh, also championships, so it's, it's a nice feeling. big turning point was Azores. I mean, first the rally on, on gravel. Uh, we knew that we we prefer gravel. Well, before we did not now anymore. Now we prefer both, <laughs> both tarmac and gravel. But um, when we got second place in gravel, it was some good points. And uh, okay, we could start to build up on our confidence again. And um, and also in San Remo uh, and Hungary, when we also were fighting for wins, also on tarmac. Uh, which was really, really nice for us. So, and it definitely helps the, um, uh, the confidence coming into the rallies. And uh, because for me, I always knew I had the speed, but uh, to be fighting for a whole rally with no mistakes, uh, I've, I've been struggling with it before. But uh, but now I definitely learned, as I said before, how to win rallies, not only stages, and uh, to keep myself within the limits and control that 100%. So. Yeah, it's it's been a big learning curve. Um, working together with a team like Skoda has um, 
has really helped me. Uh, they have given me a really competitive car. Uh, the team is doing an amazing job. Everything is just so professional in every way. Um, so then it makes things really easy for me actually. I can fully concentrate on what I do. Ola, my co-driver, he can do, he's, he's, he can concentrate on whatever he wants to do. Um, so it basically makes our, uh, our life pretty much easier. And uh, we know we have the competitive car, the competitive team, everything. So it's all up to us. So that is a really nice feeling to enter a rally. And you know you have all the possibilities to win and to do well. Uh, it's all up to you. So it's nice. Uh, if one mechanic does anything wrong, then we can't perform well. Um, so it's the companionship of so many people working very hard together. Um, Everyone needs to work together like this and uh, with our team everything uh, is working perfectly at the moment so it's a really really nice place to be. We spend a lot of time together and we've been through so many things together. Um, so we're like, uh, we're like brothers. Um, we have a, a very special relationship and uh, okay when I cross that finish line uh, on the this rally in Cyprus, um, everything was okay for me before I gave my co-driver a big hug, and then I started to cry like a baby because what we have together is something very special, and uh, and uh, which we always will have. So it's it's a good, a really good relationship. The last stage was was special. Um, okay, we had a lot of time to to Mr. Kopetsky and. Um, for me, if I go really down on the attack, for me it's quite hard to keep fully concentrated. So for me it's better to try to get a good rhythm. Okay, we didn't push at all, but uh, if we have a good rhythm then, then, then still it's, uh, it's easy to keep 100% concentration. And just play with the car and smile and have fun. And we, we managed to do that and when I was closing in on the finish, I could see all the cars in the distance parked up by the by the finish line and then I was sure that we were going to make it. So it was a special moment. Coming here to Cyprus we knew we had the chance to win the title. But to come out from Cyprus on top and IRC champion 2011 was more than I ever could expect. Well, what is your dream? Is it to be world champion in rally? Or is it to be one of those few legends in rally? Like Colin McRae, like all the guys which had this special thing. I want to be more special than any one of them. <laughs> that's, that's the right attitude? Yes, but we will try <laughs> and we will succeed.